Okay, can you guys hear me? Hmm. <laughs> Looks like I'm a little sideways here. Good evening. I think I need to get you guys a little bit closer um, to my desk. Whoops, sorry about that. I was trying to figure out how to show my face today on camera with y'all, but uh, it wasn't meant to be. Okay, how's, how's that? that? Is that, that better? better? Now, now that, that it's, it's all um, dark outside, outside everything, everything changes, changes right? right? There's, There's a glare, glare right, here. right here. I'm, I'm trying, trying to, to, I'm trying, I'm trying, to, trying to, get to get that removed real, real quick. quick. Well, well, which, which light's, light's it coming from? from? I might, I might just say, say we're, we're going to keep, keep the glare. glare. Okay, okay, so you can, can hear me, right? Oh, there's, there's an, an echo? echo? Okay, okay, hold on. Let's, um... What about now? now? Hold on, let me see if I have... I still, I have, still an have an echo. echo. Is it, Is still, it there? still there? Okay, what about now? Sorry about that. It should be off now, right? I changed... Um, my devices around so that I could see comments a little bit better. Okay, so that got rid of the echo or did it? Okay, wait, y'all are saying it's good to go now, right? Okay, thank you. Sorry about that. Uh, so I'll just move all this out of the way and uh, we will get started with our project and then I'll do like my little commercial break in the middle. So somebody remind me to do a commercial break pretty please. Am I, does it look a little crooked? <laughs> it looks crooked on my end. Okay, so here we go. We have two pieces of pumpkin pie that measures four and a half by four and a quarter, two pieces that measure four and a quarter by two and a quarter, some pear pizzazz, that's a scrap. Basic white is a scrap. And then crumb cake that measures one by one and a half, okay? So we are gonna be doing some die cutting with um, these three dies. So the name of them, or the name of those, uh, this is going to be from the Basic Borders dies, and this is from the Intricate Leaves dies, and then this one is from the uh, Seasonal Labels dies, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and get the Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. So it looks crooked to you too? Okay, let's see if I can straighten this out. So sorry. My little thingy that holds this is loose for some reason. Okay, so I'm gonna open this up. And I'm gonna get my purple tape because we need this thing to stay where we want it. So a one, two, and a three. And you wanna make sure that you cut this, um, well, let me tell you the measurement. 
So you're going to put this on landscape or port. I'm not real sure. I don't know how to tell y'all. So the long, this is the long side. <laughs> and we're going to be using this. Let's see. All of a sudden now I'm forgetting what I'm doing. Okay, that's how we're going to do it. So I'm going to use my purple tape to hold that down. <laughs> Should this be an indicator of how my night is going to go? There we go. Well, is that going to fit? Just barely. So this is the first side. Now we're gonna do the other side. Now, so y'all don't y'all don't want to be here all night long. So I've done the other piece off camera already. So I'm only gonna cut one of these on camera, but you're gonna need both of them cut. This is how it's gonna look, okay? I won't use that since I said I've already done it off camera. Now we're gonna do the same thing to this piece. We're gonna do both sides. Okay, so how many of y'all have already, whoa, that's really crooked. Oh, well, it'll be okay. Uh, how many of you have already done your Thanksgiving shopping? Oh, this is going to be really, that's okay. This will be the back of it. Uh, your Thanksgiving meal shopping. Not me. I'm going tomorrow, so... We did order our turkey last week though, so that, that that's ready for us. We just have to pick it up. Okay, so now here's these two pieces. You're gonna need two of each, okay? Make sure I did this right. It's gonna layer just like that. Now we're gonna emboss those two pieces. All of a sudden I'm like, okay, where's my embossing folder? Here it is. So we're using the ornate floral and we're gonna place this one inside here. Now I need to change my configuration. So to use the 3D, um, the 3D, embossing folders you need a plate one and a plate four this inside here and emboss that one. Okay, so there's that. Now, while we're at it, since we already have this up here, let's go ahead and cut our crumb cake piece. <laughs> 
Uh, this might confuse you a little bit, but it'll make sense in just a minute. So a one, two, and a three. And then we're gonna lay this piece right there. And we're gonna take that seasonal We're gonna use this die on that piece, but I had to take a picture today to remind myself of what I did because I messed it up the first time. I'm, I still might mess it up because I'm not sure that my picture did it the right way. Let's see. <sighs> Sorry, I think it's this way. It's a little crooked. I'm doing that on purpose. Oh yes, it turned out right. Yay. Okay. I was gonna tell y'all, a lot of times someone asked about the, the sewing videos. A lot of times I do the sewing videos for, for my sake as well, because I'll make something and then I'll completely forget how I made it. So if I film a video to share with all y'all, then, then I'll know how to make it myself. Okay, so we don't need this one because I already did one off camera. So we have two of these and we have two of these. And then I do not want to lose my die. Now, let me get these little strips out of my way so that they don't confuse me. And we are going to stamp now. So I'm using uh, Early Espresso Pumpkin Pie and Pear Pizzazz. We are gonna to have to use the, um, the die cut machine again in just a minute. It's a little faint in color. Let me, let's try that again. This is called, what, gorgeous, what is this set? Gorgeous leaves. We'll close this for now. We're going to take the pumpkin pie. I'm using our um, blending brushes. So I'm just going to add some sponging. You can use a sponge dauber if you prefer or if you have them. Oh goodness, I forgot the other pieces of pumpkin cardstock for the for the box part. is it with the, um, the pumpkin pie so we can close that one up and then we're going to use crumb cake on this little piece here I think my husband might be 
in the garage and the timer is going off. Hmm. We're going to die cut this real quick with this die. Because then we want to sponge that piece as well. This will be the last time we use her tonight. And I'm probably gonna use some purple tape just to hold it in place. Although, I think these um, dies are pretty forgiving. Especially since we're gonna... <sighs> I do not like the new purple tape. Oh, it doesn't stick. I, I kind of hold on to my original purple tape because you can't get it anymore. If y'all find a source, let me know. Yeah, I'm going to the store first thing in the morning. Well, I say first thing, but actually not first thing. I'll be having a couple cups of coffee before first thing. Um, okay, there's that. Isn't that so pretty? Now, let's get this out of the way. grabbing another piece of pumpkin pie cardstock. Um, let me give you the measurement. It's going to measure nine by four and a half. Four and a half. This is the piece for our box. Now I'm gonna use the Simply Scoring Scoring Tool and I'm gonna score at one inch, wait, am I? Yeah, one inch, four and a quarter, five and a quarter, and eight and a half. I'm gonna turn it on the portrait side and score it at one inch. The only thing I've done is plan my menu. We're cooking the turkey on uh, on Thursday. David always smokes it. He splash cocks it the night before and lets it set in the brine overnight. And then he cooks it on our smoker. And then on Friday, I will make gumbo. So our grocery list is huge because we'll be cooking for two days. Or actually, yeah, I'll be cooking for two days. David, I think, is going to go. I think he and Chase are going to go shoot sporting clays somewhere on Friday. That'll be good. Oh wait, I wanna trim the tabs too. So just trim them a little bit. Where's my little card? Who knows, I've lost it. So I'm just going to remove the backing and then fold this over. And this is the back. So that makes this front. 
And this time I'm just going to use my white, I want two pieces. Okay, here's our box. Let me sponge this real quick with our pear pizzazz ink. I guess you could skip sponging it, but this uh, sponge has a little bit of pear and some um, crumb cake on it. That's one of my new ink pads. I think I told y'all a couple weeks ago I was going to get some new ones. Um, okay, so here we go. Um, we are going to attach this to the front and to the back of our box. So I'm going to use my liquid glue and I'm just going to put the glue here. And then I want to make sure that it's centered on there. Okay, now we're going to do this side. Same thing. Okay, now decide which one's going to be your front and make it the use the prettiest piece <laughs> they actually both look fine I'll put this one on the back though because this one I cut a little short so I'm going to attach this one with dimensionals goodness gracious my computer just went to sleep Okay, now place this in the middle, like that, and then we're going to add our stem up here at the top, so just some liquid glue. this one here you can pop this up if you want in fact I think I did on the original but it'll be fine and now let's turn this over we're going to add this to the back Now we need two pieces of um, linen thread that measure 11 inches. roundabout way of getting two pieces okay so now I'm going to tie a bow and I'm going to attach that with a mini glue dot It did not attach. There we go. This would look better popped up, the leaf. Okay, so here is our little pumpkin box. And here's the one that I made earlier. Now, I have a greeting that I did stamp 
So you could add your greeting here, or you could add it up at the top. Yeah, so this is from the um, Sparkle of the Season stamp set, Grateful. You could use Happy Thanksgiving. Um, I think we have Thankful in the Time of Giving stamp set. Yeah, so here's our little pumpkin box. So now I'm going to show you guys, don't go anywhere just yet because I didn't do my housekeeping notes, but I want to show you all the projects that we've done. Hang on one second. Okay, so last week we did these pumpkins. And you can put your blessing mix in here. It does fit inside there. So here was the blessing mix box that we did a couple weeks ago so if you take the blessing mix out of the the pilgrim hat you kind of have to smush it a little bit um then it makes it look even more like a pumpkin because it's kind of poofy in the middle uh oh i lost my greeting yeah um and so here was another thanksgiving project that I did and then here's another one so we have lots of really cool fall projects this year right okay so I'm gonna go over the housekeeping notes really quick for those of you that stayed here thank you so much um, so chick candy what number 123 was posted on my blog today so head over there, leave a comment to enter to win. Uh, when you place a $50 order, you also get an entry into the drawing and I will announce the winner. Um, I think it's, for, it's from now until November 30th, yeah. And then this is my current host code and I'm taking registration for bingo. So all the details are on my blog. And then don't forget that the starter kit is at a discount right now. Yeah, so huh, that's a lot of housekeeping notes. But it's Monday and it's the holidays and there is a lot going on, right? Okay, I'm going to look for questions now. Um, thank you. We have some really cool product this year. Not that we don't always, we always do. So I'm looking on, um, I'm looking on YouTube first. I'm gonna look at the uh, chat and see if there's any questions. So Cindy said that she made the blessing mix boxes for her friend and the company and they loved them. You're very welcome. I usually make them too. In fact, all the stuff that I've made, I'm probably just gonna take upstairs and yeah uh okay no questions over there so we're all good on um on youtube so now i'll check facebook really quick and see um what questions you guys have thank you very much and yes i'm supposed to go live on wednesday it will probably be a really quick get her done project don't have a clue of what I'm making, but um, oh, someone asked how long does it take to cook a turkey on a smoker? I think a couple hours. I really don't know because to be honest, David does all that. Uh, what color is my nail polish? The color is called Susie Talks with Her Hands, and then she puts the uh, unicorn powder on top. Is that what it's called, unicorn powder? Yeah. <laughs> um, oh. Let's see. Oh, several people asked that. Um, yeah, I think just a couple hours. It's all about the it marinating in the brine overnight. We put like a whole bag of ice on top of it. It's a pretty cool process. Uh, yes, my machine is a her, but I haven't really named her. I just call her a her. Everything that's pretty, I call a girl. <laughs> um, 
Oh, wow. You're a vegetarian. I, who you, that means you can't have gumbo. Oh my goodness. In fact, I'm making gumbo and I've never had, um, uh, what's that rice that's not rice? Cauliflower rice, because I can't have rice right now. So I'm going to be making cauliflower rice to eat with my gumbo. Okay, I'm going to scroll back really quick and see if there's any last minute questions. And there is not. Happy Thanksgiving to all of y'all. Yeah. Um, so uh, Deanna asked, what do I keep my sponges in? They're these little photo storage boxes that I got on um, Amazon. It says acid free because they're photo storage boxes. If you'll shoot me an email, I will look for the link, but it'll probably be like after Thanksgiving. But yeah, I keep them in here and it requires you to snap it. You have to snap it closed. Yeah. So yeah, I like them like, yeah. Aren't they pretty too? I like organization a lot. I wish I had more time for it. What is gumbo? Oh, goodness gracious, Gail. You're going to have to uh, um, Google that. I really can't even explain it. I guess maybe you could call it like a soup with a lot of meat, but it's a, it's a Louisiana dish. Uh, my good friend Tracy taught me how to make it many years ago, and it's a favorite. Everybody loves it. It takes all day to cook, though, so I only cook it a couple times a year. Okay, I'm going to sign off, and you guys, if you if I don't see you on Wednesday, some of y'all will join me, I know. Some of you will not. You'll be too busy, but um, have a happy Thanksgiving, and if you miss me on Wednesday, I'll be here next Monday for sure. Same time, same place. Thank you guys so much for um, being here tonight. I appreciate it. Okay, have a good night.